Goodbye and welcome to Heavenly Album Covers. How exactly is it that human beings are able to use their eyeballs and stare across a space? at some text and understand the text. It's a miracle really and that's the miracle of reading and that's the miracle that we will be looking at today with some album covers with lots of text on them. Here we are starting out with Paul J. Meyer's album how to develop the power of enthusiasm. It's a great powerful cover. Here's a manly arm holding an axe. He's uh, cutting down the tree of uh, apathy and uh, he's going towards that en enthusiastic goal. And uh, this has a lot of text on it. Next up is an album called Music with Sound. It's a demonstration record, and uh, it's a Time Series 2000 record. It's mostly black with some gigantic text here and uh, some uh, additional text up at the top. It's uh, quite a uh, fashionable record design, and it's wonderful, and it has text on it. Next up is an album with more text on it. It's called, Are You an Amateur or a Professional? Champ or Chump? Pro or Schmo? How do you know? This album is by Dr. Herb True, and it's a, uh, another self-help record album that uh, serves to inspire the listener. And uh, here we have a referee, probably at a football game, and he's uh, saying that someone made a goal, and that they achieve their goal so this is a very text filled album cover next up we have secrets of a winning personality by Jack Lacey this text down here says that more than 500,000 salesmen are using Jack Lacey selling ideas to make more money this record will increase your sales and your income. And uh, here's Jack Lacey here. He's um, talking to a vast audience here. And um, here's some uh, vast text going upwards here at the top and some very small text down here. But I think we can all agree that there's plenty of text on this album by Jack Lacey. Next up is Touch Typing. Made simple. Touch Typing Made Simple. A sound teaching method. Here is featured uh, much text at the top. These letters are about two inches tall. Uh, white lettering on bright red background. And uh, here's a woman here typing on a small typewriter. And uh, this album will assist you in uh, learning how to touch type. And this album has lots of text. Here's an album called Enjoy an Hour in Stereo Land. It's on Dance Time Music Records and it's in Ultra Stereo Sound features 32 tunes and uh, this album is by Will Kennedy and his stereo orchestra. This text travels in a circular manner and uh, there's even some text down here at the top of the clock image and um, this is a wonderful hand done design. This text was probably um, pasted up by hand and it's simply wonderful and it's text. Next up is a double album by Paul J. Meyer. 
It's called How to Prospect Your Way to Millions. It's a double album and it's so heavy that it's falling off the little stand here. But um, this is some amazing text at the top. Yellow, white, and red. And uh, there's piles of cash here that you could earn if you just listen to this album here. And um, Paul J. Meyer, it says here that he was a million dollar prospector, so he was quite successful and he just wanted to share his success with others through this album. This album doesn't have a lot of text, but it definitely does have text. And it's uh, quite a thrilling album cover. I'll hold it up with my stick. This album is called Seven Days to Better Bowling. It only cost $5.95, and that was uh, decades ago. And uh, this is a new approach to the mental side of bowling, which improves your game by developing relaxation, confidence, concentration, and coordination. And um, look at this design here. The bowling ball is actually life-size, and the hand is life-size. Here are some um, bowling pins waiting to be struck by this ball. And um, this text is quite wonderful. It fits right in here. And uh, here's a caution about um, whether you're a, if you're a, a right-handed bowler, um, this album is for you. But if you're a left-handed bowler, it's probably not the album for you. That's seven days to better bowling. And finally, we have an album called How to Overcome Sales Objections. This is by Don Mason and this is text that is easily readable by the human eyeballs and uh, I'm not sure what this graphic is. It looks like some sort of uh, torpedo or uh, motion object that is uh, going this way. It obviously represents um, success and it's uh, comprised of many colors and uh, this is text and Don Mason's name up here is text which can be read through time and space by the human eyeball and those are some albums with text on their covers